Constructors. To review, constructors initialize the value of an object's instance variables. Here's two types of constructors. On the left, we can see we have a, um, a class called info, and we have two private uh, integer variables. We have age and birth year. And we can see that no constructor is explicitly provided uh, by the programmer. Um, in this case, Java provides a default no argument constructor. This constructor basically initializes all of the uh, um, instance variables to their default data type, uh, default value uh, for each data type in Java. So if we look at this table right here, uh, we can see that if uh, we have the data type boolean, the default value for it is false. For int, it's zero. For double, it's 0.0. .0 and for string, it's null. So in this case, since we have two integers, age or birth year, and we did not provide a constructor, uh, they're going to be assigned the, the default value of zero. But uh, we also have a second type of implement implementation, which you can see on the right side, where we have, again, the same two uh, private integer variables uh, in the class info, but we have an explicit constructor, um, and we're basically using a constructor um, to pass in values for age and birth year. So uh, in another class, possibly, uh, we could create an object of the class info, uh, and we could pass in two integer values as arguments and initialize our object.